Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate to you today on this hopefully lucky Friday the 13th of February is just how Centurion Secure Code Hopping Remote Control Technology works. For the purpose of this demonstration I'll be using my blue Centurion Nova Code Hopping Remote Control as well as the chart of the uh, receiver built into this D10 Turbo controller. Okay, so what happens when you press your remote control is that the remote control actually transmits a code, a series of digits, which is then picked up by the receiver, decoded, and if it's seen as valid, it will produce some sort of action, such as opening or closing your electric gate. I'll demonstrate. There you can see that the code was seen as valid, it was seen as being legitimate, therefore the receiver switched a relay which activated the gate. Now the problem with dip switch and fixed coded remote control systems is that criminals, being ever the wily lot, have devised means using rather sophisticated equipment to grab the code and thus clone your remote control, make their own remote controls using the code that they grab which they can then use to gain access to your property. Thus, not very secure, not very safe at all. Code hopping technology means that this is not possible. And I'm going to show you that the code actually changes every time that you press your remote control button. For this, I'll just move over to the Nova remote control demo board over here. So you can see there's the remote. And there's a little LCD screen. Now this LCD screen will show the code that is transmitted when I press the remote control button. Okay, so I'm going to press it. There's the code. I'm going to press it again. The code changes to a completely different combination of digits. Press it, press it again, press it again. The code keeps changing. And this is how code hopping technology keeps you safe and secure.